Hello, I'm Aaron Wenger. I'm a principal scientist at PacBio. And today I'm going to discuss how the high accuracy of PacBio sequencing sets it apart from other long read sequencing. Our most recent product is a SQL 2E system. It was released in, uh, the, in the last quarter of 2020. It's proven to be an extremely reliable platform with very low run failure rates, provides scale such that most projects can be achieved in a single run, and it's the only platform to provide highly accurate long reads. We call those reads hi-fi reads. Uh, they're typical lengths between 15 and 25,000 bases. So that's around 100 times more than an NGS read, a short read from a, an Illumina platform. Um, and they're extremely accurate. So hi-fi reads have typical accuracy of higher than 99.9% with a minimum accuracy of 99%. To give a sense of how the data look, these are showing hi-fi reads and short reads for the same human individual. This is the genome in a bottle sample, HG002. And this is over a locus of a medically important gene, CYP2D6. You can see the hi-fi reads in the top um, are extremely accurate with very few matches out, or uh, very few mismatches outside of the true biological variants. Um, and to give a sense of, of scale in this picture, you can see circled here uh, a hi-fi read in the top and a short read on the bottom. Uh, showing the hi-fi reads are, are hugely longer, about 100 times longer. This length is sufficient to usually span multiple variants in a single read and thus allow the, the reads and the variants to be separated into haplotypes. Um, so you can see directly from the hi-fi reads the maternally and paternally inherited chromosomes. In the short reads, you can, in most cases, uh, see the same variants, but you're not able to separate them into haplotypes. And importantly, there are also readings of the genome where the short reads are not able to access uh, so, for example, these two regions have very similar sequences to one another, uh, and thus short reads are not able to be placed confidently at one location or the other, uh, and variants are not able to be called. Well, with the high fire reads, you can span through these regions, connecting to adjacent unique sequence, and identify variation across these sequences. The actual accuracy of high fire reads is so high that it's usually expressed not in a percentage scale, but in the logarithmic FRED scale. Um, so here's seeing a distribution of hi-fi reads on the, on the FRED scale uh, with the modal accuracy at Q33, uh, which is 99.95% uh, in, in percentage scale. When you look at hi-fi accuracies on this percent scale, you can see that they're all uh, distributed in a very narrow range and close to perfect accuracy. In contrast, other long reads from Oxford Nanopore have a much wider distribution of accuracy and a much lower modal accuracy. Uh, so taking the better of these two recent Oxford Nanopore data sets, um, you can see that the modal accuracy is at Q18 in the FRED scale, which is 98.3% accuracy, or one error for every 59 bases. And the HiFi reads this 99.95% mode, that's equivalent to one error per 2,000 bases, which is 34 times fewer errors. This higher accuracy of HiFi reads translates directly into delivering high accuracy in applications. Just to give two examples, we'll focus on variant detection and assembly of human genomes. So for variant detection, we usually measure performance against genome in a bottle benchmarks. So the genome in a bottle is an effort of the US National Institute of Standards and Technology. They provide standard DNA reference materials for seven different human individuals who, to whom they assign the identifiers HG001 through HG007. And together with these standard DNA materials, they provide benchmarks that tell you where the individual whose DNA you've received differs from the standard reference genome. You can then take the DNA uh, fr from the genome in a bottle group. You can sequence it with your own technology, generate call sets from that, and then compare your call sets to the true benchmarks. And from that, you can identify true positives where the call set and the benchmark agree, false negatives where there's something in the benchmark that's absent in the call set, and false positives where there's something in the call set that should not have been and that's missing in the benchmark. Since 2017, the most widely used benchmark from Gene Meta Bottle is the, the one they number 3.3.2. This was built using primarily short and linked read sequencing, and it covers about 85% of the human genome, but only 24% of the most difficult regions, the segmental duplications and low mappability sequences. And this is because the short and linked reads used to build this benchmark are not able to characterize these sequences very well. Last year, the Gene Meta Bottle released version four benchmarks for one of the samples, HG002, and this is built now using short linked and long reads. And because they included long reads in this benchmark and improved methods, they're able to expand the coverage of the genome from 85% to 92%, so filling in about half of the gap that, that had been remaining. Um, and they doubled the, or more than doubled the amount of sequence that was covered in segmental duplications and low mappability regions. 
The group then went on from HG002 to build similar expanded benchmarks for HG3 and 4. But rather than immediately releasing those benchmarks, they decided to launch a competition, which they called the Precision FDA Truth Challenge V2. This is a competition intended to measure the accuracy of different technologies, both sequencing technologies and variant calling software for measuring variants in human genomes. Uh, there were the basic structure of the challenge. They provided uh, DNA sequencing reads from three different platforms, the Illumina NovaSeq, the PacBio SQL2 system producing HiFi reads, and the Oxford Nanoport Promethion. Uh, and these sequencing reads are provided for three different samples, HG002, HG003, and HG004. For HG002, the genome in a bottle group released the expanded version four benchmark as a, as a true answer for methods development and comparison, but they held back the answer for HG3 and 4. Uh, then groups were invited to submit call sets for HG3 and 4, and the genome in a bottle group could score those call sets over the not yet released blinded truth sets. And in that way, you could get uh, independent comparisons of how different technologies were doing for calling variants in these, uh, in these samples where the answer had not yet been revealed. Uh, in the results, uh, PacBio HiFi reads uh, with the deep variant variant caller from Google produced the highest accuracy of any single technology call set. There are around 13,000 errors in the entire uh, 3 billion base pair human genome. And this is around 2.5 times fewer errors uh, than were seen with Illumina reads with the same deep variant variant caller. Around six times fewer errors than were seen with Illumina reads, the very popular GATK4 variant caller. And more than 30 times fewer errors than seen with the Oxford Nanopore uh, long reads with the deep variant variant color. So the HiFi reads had much better single nucleotide variant accuracy than Illumina reads and much better indel accuracy than the Oxford Nanopore reads. It was the only technology to provide extremely good accuracy uh, over both of these variant types, single nucleotide variants and indels. It's not only variant calling where HiFi reads provide great accuracy, you can also look at de novo assembly, where rather than relying on mapping to a reference genome, reads are simply compared to one another and used to build up the sequence of a, of a genome uh, without any basis other than data. Uh, there have been a lot of recent methods development in, in uh, de novo assemblers, both for PacBio HiFi reads and for Oxford Nanopore long reads. And looking at kind of the state of the art for both technologies, uh, HiFi assemblies from uh, uh, an assembler called HiFi ASM and Oxford Nanopore assemblies from an, uh, an assembler called Shasta. Uh, both of these were academically developed and published recently. Uh, and both of these efforts looked at, at sequencing the same different, the same human genomes. Uh, the PacBio HiFi assemblies came out uh, with somewhere between 112 and 240 times fewer errors than the Oxford Nanopore assemblies. The Oxford Nanopore assemblies on average uh, after polishing had an error every 1,000 bases. Well, the HiFi assemblies, which actually didn't require any polishing because they come out directly accurate by starting with accurate reads, they had an error less than one over every 100,000 100, base pairs. So these accurate HiFi reads really provide better, uh, better biology from the better data. Uh, they're also quite affordable on the SQL 2E system and extremely efficient for computational analysis, starting with the read that's very accurate, doesn't require um, any work to be done to, to clean it up uh, it can be just used directly um, in, in a number of efficient algorithms. The data is also very easy to interpret uh, as demonstrated by that IGB screenshot. You can contain complex regions separating the two haplotypes um, using individual reads. Um, and finally, because the reads are both accurate and long, um, you, you can get answers with the single technology. The, the read length provides the ability to span difficult regions, and the accuracy provides the ability to get base level answers uh, or accurate base level answers in the end. To get started with HiFi sequencing, you can learn more at pacb.com slash HiFi to learn about applications, including variant detection and de novo assembly, but also further applications like sequencing microbial genomes or doing RNA sequencing. You can go to pacb.com slash applications. There are example data sets uh, across all these applications available at pacb.com slash data sets. And finally, if you'd like to speak to a PacBio sequencing expert, not to get any uh, questions answered, you can go to pacb.com slash scientist. Uh, so thank you for your time.